Let's look at a couple of methods for adding an icon to your desktop. These would be icons for starting up programs. In this case, we will be adding an icon for starting the MQ Multiquence program. So let's begin. Click on the Start menu, go to All Programs, and now we need to hunt for the Multiquence startup um, icon. Mine happens to be hidden away right here. Here's the Multiquence icon. I'm hovering over this startup menu item and I click with the right mouse button and that pops up the context menu. I now hover over the Send To and I select Desktop. So we now see on the desktop, up above, I'll drag it down so we can see it. Here is the Multiquence icon added to the desktop. Let's delete that icon. Now here Windows is telling us that it's only going to delete the icon, not the program, which is what exactly what we want. Now let's look at a second method for putting that same icon on the desktop. Open up Windows Explorer, and now I'm going to go to C, C Drive, Program Files, and I'm going to look for the folder, the Multiquence folder, for the MultiQ EXE. I right click, same as before, Send to Desktop. And I can close down the Windows Explorer now. And here we have Shortcut to MultiQ EXE. You'll notice that the icons are named slightly different depending on which method we use to generate it. You could also right click, go to New, and select Shortcut, and then browse for the location of the file. Well, we had to do that with the other method, so we might as well just do that and use the Send to Desktop. It's just the same. So, even though you can use the Create New Shortcut as a method for getting a, uh, a icon on your desktop, I think it's just as easy to either browse through the program startup menu, in this case find the icon and then right click and use send to desktop, or and here's the icon again by the way, or go ahead and open up Windows Explorer and find it directly. In either case, you produce an icon that will start the program. The advantage to using the startup menu is that there are, if there are special parameters that are invoked when the program is started, the startup menu will contain those. If you just find the exe file and create an icon from that, you may or may not capture the exact right format for creating the icon. So if you possibly can, go to the startup menu and grab this icon. Otherwise, just find the program in your uh, program files folder and go from there. Okay, I hope this helps you get some uh, shortcuts on your desktop.